On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Saturday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now my peeps, you don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So in the morning and my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So watch this now, my peeps. We are going to dive into some international news before we get to anything else. Because you don't know, say, once it involves Jamaicans internationally, and the spot news media is definitely on it also. So the first thing that we are going to talk about is this little nasty man here on your screen. A man who has since been identified by his birth name, Darren Kalmar, age 58. So you know, says so a big old great one, man, this. Now, this man has been sentenced to 15 years in prison for trying to arrange sexual intercourse with a pitney from Jamaica. Yeah, man. And one of the criminal enablers is one of our very own, a female at that. I take this man money and I arrange with the man to come to Jamaica, to come half <coughs> a little pit me them. Can you imagine? You see how some of them little dirty crasmite girl are greedy and gluttonous and would have sell them soul and the soul of their own children or family members just for a few United States dollars. So a North Carolina resident who was found to be communicating with someone in Jamaica about arranging intercourse with a minor was on Wednesday were gone, sentenced to 188 months in prison. So this little dirty great tone man I want to see on the screen. Darren Kalmar, age 58, he pleaded guilty to have some whole heap of picture of some pitney in some really disturbing type of positions and ways in May of 2022. So according to court documents and the information presented to the court in 2019, the National Center of Missing and Exploited Children received two cyber tip reports from a social media network known as Tagged. So a whole heap of people probably know about this social media network here with them called Tag regarding a suspected child exploitation activity. So them use him IP address and track him and do all of the necessaries and zero down on his address in North Carolina. However, he pleaded guilty stating that he sent cash up to a female in Jamaica for arrange him and a little pitney for do the nasties. And the nasty woman take the man money. The man set up everything for flying. It's a good thing, say. The social media network attract certain conversations. And she say, yo, the one that kind of shake you in a certain type of way. And alerted the FBI and local police who tracked him. And that is how this nasty man was caught. He did this with persons from Cambodia, the Philippines and also underage females from the Dominican Republic. So this brother here is a known pedophile. Yeah man, may I tell you. But the thing will really hurt my heart is a female in a Jamaica I set up this whole ordeal. So some of my time in my peeps, you see we look at young girls them gone missing, you know. Sometimes at them type of dirty activities here, yeah, them have the little ones them involved in a just because of a few United States dollars. Because the money that was sent to the woman amounted to 250 
$50. She charge him $90 for the photos and $250 for him flying and come have him away with the little picnic. Can you imagine my peeps? Boy, me, I tell you, the love of money, boy. I tell you, my peeps, the thing rough round a John shop there. So on your screen is a well-known comedian known as Maja Hype. Most of we definitely know who this comedian personal is. But uh, Maja Hype has found himself on the wrong side of the law. He has been listed as an inmate in a prison in Georgia, facing charges from simple battery to felony charges of making terroristic threats and acts. He has been detained at the Cobb County Sheriff's Office Adult Detention Facilities in Georgia for the past couple of days. Now, according to the Cobb County Sheriff's Office, Maja Hype, whose real name is Nigel Therion Joseph, was arrested and processed on February 19th of 2023 and remains in custody without bond. It was not immediately clear if the charges were in relation to a domestic abuse incident. So this brother here right now, the thing that looks so bossy for Maja Hype. So to all his followers and all his associates who look out for his postings on YouTube, Instagram and other social media networks, you won't be seeing or hearing from Maja Hype for quite some time. Because he's presently behind bars in the state of Georgia in the United States of America. So I will most definitely keep you updated as we get more information surrounding his case in subsequent newscast. Now we are going to make a small trad over there on the British soil. A place known as Surrey in England. Now on your screen is a family. We look pretty decent, decent looking mother, decent looking father, decent looking child. All smiles, so everything look quite dandy, wouldn't you say? Well, none of the three is still among the land of the living. As the police in Surrey, England is investigating a suspected case of weird husband take the life of the wife and the child and then turn the machine upon himself and take theme three pints too. The man in question has said to be identified as a Jamaican-born man. Now the deceased person has since been identified from your left, the wife, 45-year-old Emma Pattison, a head teacher of Epsom College, her 39-year-old husband, George Pattison, a chartered accountant, and their daughter, Letty Pattison. The police in Surrey, England, are suggesting that it is believed that Mr. Pattison is the one that carried out the knockings and clappings of his wife and daughter and then turned the gun on himself on February 5th of this year. The police have confirmed that the firearm, which is a licensed firearm which was registered to Mr. Pattison, was also found on the scene. Investigators, however, suggest that the official causes of loss of life will not be confirmed until post-mortem examinations have been completed. Now, on the spot news media has uncovered a bit of information that suggests that the family was having financial issues as their jointly owned business had some serious tax issues with the government and suffered great financial losses. So about five months ago, Miss Pattison was appointed the first female teacher of the prestigious Epsom College, an independent private institution in England. It is understood that in December of last year, Miss Patterson told a podcast run by students that her move had been a really big change in her family's life, adding that she has a new job, her husband has a new job, which wasn't meant to happen, but it did, and her daughter has a new school right now. So everybody was really shocked and disheartened as to how the entire 
entire family met their demise. The school was, however, closed for two weeks after what it described as an incredibly distressing event where the details emerging of how their headmistress had lost her life. So there you have it now, my peeps. All the international news round up. Now back to local style. Yeah, man. So we're going to kick it off over there in the western section of Jamaica. The parish of Westmoreland. We're going to start it from right there. So now for the past couple of weeks, we see where criminal elements have been wreaking havoc in sections of Westmoreland. So on Thursday, there was a major police military operation in the section of Westmoreland known as Lennox Big Woods. So persons was taken into custody and are to be questioned in relation to their involvement in gang activities in Darleston in the parish of Westmoreland. 30 persons including three women were initially detained by the police. Two illegal guns, including a high-powered rifle presently on your screen and over 100 rounds of ammunition were seized in that operation. Detective Sergeant Shamal Wilson of the Specialized Operations Branch weighs in on this magnificent fine and persons detained. Listen. This operation that targeted members who are trying to farm a gang in the Dalistan community would have hampered their activities greatly and would have disrupted their activities, which is one of the primary objectives of the Specialized Operations Battalion Criminal Investigation Unit that conducts operations of this nature. The Westmoreland detectives are also trying to determine if the detainees are behind a series of armed robberies in St. Elizabeth and Westmoreland targeting supermarkets, shops and automated banking machines. So my peeps, a word to the wise as always is sufficient. So all who can hear, I go feel. Yeah man and who no go to jail, I go feel the cold steel. Yeah man. Now over there in the neighboring parish of St. Elizabeth, the St. Elizabeth police are probing a case in which an ex-policeman was found injured in front of his home on Friday morning. The ex-policeman and ex-corporal was found with several wounds and has been since taken to the hospital where he underwent surgery and has been admitted in a serious but stable condition. Now, on the spot news media understands that sometime around 2 a.m., lawmen were called to the scene. Upon the arrival of the police, the police found the ex-cop lying on the ground at the entrance of his residence. He reportedly had several stab wounds to the body and another wound to the head believed to be caused by a stone. The police stated that the ex-cop was conscious at the time he was found but was unable to provide them with any information. He was however transported to the hospital and the scene was processed for clues. So most definitely there is more to come in a subsequent newscast. Now over there in the parish of Sentan, yeah, tell us a eh, country badness set a certain type of way. Kingston badman them now have nothing over the country criminal. A security guard who attempted to foil a robbery was conned up and injured by a thief in Sentan's Bay, Sentan on Friday morning. Now I will be posting uh, that video on my Instagram page at on the spot news media 876 over there on Instagram so you can go over and watch that video as it is not fit for YouTube airplay. Now police reports are that the incident occurred on Bravo Street in the vicinity of St. Anne's Bay Fire Station around 9 a.m. According to Deputy Superintendent of Police Linton Bailey, the thief who escaped on a motorcycle robbed a man of $690,000 and and US $1,000. Now, Bailey said that the security guard saw what was happening and tried to accost the robber, but the armed assailant can up the security guard in the abdomen before fleeing the scene. The victim of the robbery was also unharmed. The security guard has been treated in the hospital. Investigations continue. Now, from what I saw on that video, that security guard should have never 
got no firearm in his possession in the first place. This man simply has no clue as to how to approach an armed robbery type of situation. The man ran out in direction of the armed criminals before pulling his firearm and that is how him get can up before him could have even dry it and get clap up. Yeah man, him could have easily lose him three pints because he was acting too swift before actually thinking out his move. Yeah man, madness him go on right there so. Him could have given him three pints easy easy. When approaching a situation like that, your firearm must be already drawn and you approach that in a tactical form. Yeah man, and firearm should be at a ready position, charge up and ready for squeeze. Yeah man, your finger should have already dip on the trigger and as soon as you see the target, you apply the three pound pressure, pan the trigger and clam, clam, clam. Boy, food get yam. Yeah man, as so the thing said, out there in the streets, who now have to deal with the thing on a more professional basis. So the next thing that we are going to talk about now, my peeps, is a magnificent fine again by the squad of them. Squad of them put on a decent spot of work. So a woman is among five arrested in relation to a gun fine over there in the St. Andrews Central Police Division. So five people, including a woman, were taken into police custody following the seizure of three illegal firearms along Constant Spring Road in St. Andrews Thursday night. It is reported by the police that sometime after 8 p.m., the police signal a great Toyota Axio motor vehicle to stop. During the search of the vehicle, a 9mm Glock pistol a Beretta pistol and a .38 handgun with 20 rounds of ammunition were seized by the police. So a decent spot of work again by the squad of them. Yeah man, may I tell you. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah man.